Hello, Professor and class. My name is Andrea, and today we're going to be talking about depression. My specific purpose is to inform the audience about depression, and my central idea is to inform the audience on how to fight depression. I chose this topic because I struggle with depression myself. I understand how hard it is to feel like you just want to escape or you just want to run away. And I also understand how it feels to kind of be everybody's go-to person. Maybe when everybody else is feeling depressed or going through their own trials and tribulations, they go to you. So who would you turn to? And I completely understand that. So I want to talk to everybody about what we should do when we're feeling depressed or what we can do to get out of that funk. My main two points of today are going to be keeping a positive mindset and making sure that you have a plan. And the reason why you should keep a positive mindset is because it helps you stay calm and allows for you to think clearly and you also boost your motivation. When you're able to stay calm, it allows for you to just, it allows for you to think clear. Do you know how it is to just think when you're mad? Like say somebody cuts you off in traffic, like imagine how you're thinking when they cut you off at that instant. You might be mad then, but then a little bit later you'll be like, it's okay, they just, they just cut me off, it was just traffic. So when we're able to calm down, it allows for us to think clearly, and that moves on to my second point. So when you're thinking clearly, you're able to make better decisions. When you're thinking clearly, you don't make irrational decisions, and you also don't make decisions that you know you're gonna regret, regret in the future. So, so I would always just make sure you take a step back and really look at your situation, because you never know. You might actually realize that Maybe this isn't really a big problem. Maybe this situation that I'm really depressed about can be easily fixed. And when you actually take a step to, you know, look back at it, it does allow for you to become happier. Keeping a positive mindset can also boost your motivation. Because think about it. If you're always thinking about the negative impacts of life or you're always just thinking about how terrible everything is, you are going to feel sad. You are going to feel depressed. You aren't really going to want to do anything. But you always look at life and you're like, you know what? I can do this. My, my grandmother always says this. Never say can't. Always say can't. Because if you just look at something and say, you know what? I can. Even if you don't think you're going to be the best, it allows for you to just think highly of yourself, first of all. And it gives you that self-motivation that you might need in order to get out of that depression. All right, so my second point is trying to make a plan. When you make a plan, it's easier to achieve your goals in a sense where you have a foundation. You kind of have a starting point. And even if you don't know exactly the path that you're going to take, you know where you're kind of headed. In addition, when you make a plan, it allows you to be able to reevaluate yourself and look at yourself in a different perspective. So if you're depressed about things that are just going on in your life or you know, things just aren't going the way that you want it to. If you take a step back and see why it's not going the way you want it to, you'll be able to look back and maybe change those things. Looking at it differently gives you a different avenue to take. And it also allows for you to make a judgment on yourself and see, you know, am I the problem? Am I the reason why I'm depressed? Because sometimes it's not everybody around you. It's not everybody around you and what they do. It's about what you do and how you react to it. Maybe you have to focus more on yourself. Maybe you have to focus more on your foundation or your plan. But at the end of the day, it is kind of up to you. Closing my speech out, I would just like to say to everybody that make sure that you take time out for yourself. Make sure that you're always doing things for you. Don't be selfish, of course. But at the end of the day, you can't do anything for anybody else if you don't do anything for yourself.